Laudato de Jesus Christus. Dear faithful, please join with me in a short prayer to Our Lady. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lady, seat of wisdom, pray for us. Saint Pius X, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Dear faithful, as you perfectly well know, uh, at this time, this uh, the the time of this coronavirus pandemic, um, we are living, still living in this time of quarantine and of lockdown and of all these regulations and restrictions. And um, I think all of you would agree with me that it's it's it's, it's definitely not easy. And uh, for example, here in Lithuania, I don't know about all over the world, each country has its own rules and regulations, but here no one is allowed to enter the country, no one is allowed to, to, to leave the country. Um, uh, most of the shops are closed, um, except for, of course, for the food, food shops and, and medicine and so on and so forth. Any kind of public uh, gatherings are uh, absolutely forbidden. Um, or even when you're outside, you have to wear masks. Um, uh, you're not allowed to be in groups uh, more than of more than two or three people outside. Uh, some people are, are are it's mandatory to to self isolate, and uh, of course, some people are are getting sick. Some people are really seriously getting sick. Uh, there's been already here. Uh, not so many deaths, but still uh, about 10 deaths so far. And, um, well, you know, of course, still this fear is, is dominating. There's uh, mandatory social distancing and all these rules and regulations and difficulties. And um, we're trying to, 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 all of us are trying as, 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 as well as possible to, to, to strengthen our immune system so that we, we don't have to, that we, we, we can fight against this virus if it comes or, or whatever. And so the situation is a bit trialing. It's a bit uh, painful. And um, all of this, it can, it can seem to us, the situation seems uh, strange. It seems a really confusing, confusing time. And um, well, that's that's just that's the truth. It is strange and it is confusing time, and uh, that is just that is divine providence for us right now. And um, there's no escaping that fact. And 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 so it's 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 not difficult to panic. It's not difficult to 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 not understand. To to even uh, be a little bit afraid, or even to 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 laugh at the situation, or to make fun of it, or to to just become angry at it all. There's so much uh, pressure, so, or stress, or craziness, and uh, uh, still every day we're we're bombarded by this this darkness uh, on the television or on the internet of the news. Uh, the media is, is still um, maybe not intentionally, maybe they're trying to help, but uh, at least indirectly they are contributing significantly to the panic, and. Um, and each of us, I think, each person is 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 glued to their television or to their to their computer or to their telephone, uh, just trying to find information and looking and and and. Uh, um, well, you know, it's it's understandable. Um, also, for example, here in Lithuania, I, I think every country is different, but um, Catholics can't even go to mass. Uh, public masses have all been stopped. Any there's no public devotions. Uh, uh, people can't receive the, the the blessed sacrament, the Holy Communion. Um, of course, there are exceptions for for confession if it's in a state of necessity. But um, uh, people are, have to, to 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 participate in mass uh, through through live streaming or or through 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 through, through or just not participate at all and and sanctify their Sunday uh, by praying the, the 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 rosary or something at home with the family. I mean, of course that's uh, that's that's possible. Also, it's uh, in these these times of craziness. Uh, to, to sanctify the Sunday in 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 the way the in some way that's possible for you and your family, that's what's most most important on Sunday. Also, it's been announced that we can't even celebrate uh, Easter um, in the normal way or or Palm Sunday, and this is just it's just bad news after bad news after 
uh, pain after pain and it's uh, it's not easy for any of us the situation and I think we are we're all in the same boat in that and uh, we have to we have to uh, accept the situation as, as best as possible and um, but I think we, we have to admit and we have to just say that we're we're not we're not so happy with the situation where we're 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 totally um, disappointed or or frustrated or angry or everything seems to be going against our will. Everything is 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 going against what what we had planned, what we want, what we what we expect, what should be, and um, anger and sadness. All these emotions start start uh, exploding within our soul, and um, well, that's that's the very essence of of pain. Uh, what is pain? But it's 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 going it's some some feeling something against. Uh, our will, something against our um, what we want, and we don't want this situation. We don't like it, and our hands seem tied together, uh, and we can do nothing. The only thing we can do is 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 is, is suffer it, uh, suffer the situation, and that's that's painful. And so that leads, of course, to we want to, to blame somebody or we want to, to, to complain or we want to cry or shout or whatever and protest and somebody's guilty. Somebody somebody had to do this against me. Somebody out there uh, is to blame. And this is our this is this one of the normal reactions. And this is absolutely natural for us. It's it's uh, it's a human reaction to this situation, natural reaction to the situation. And that's understandable. But dear faithful, um, we have to uh, look um, um, for a better example on how to deal with this situation. And one man has taught us um, how to behave in a supernatural way in these uh, painful uh, situations which go against our will, go against what 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 we expect and what we want, and that that man he taught us um, a different path, uh, a different way to walk through these sufferings, and he taught us how to to turn uh, evil into good, to change evil, to use this bad situation and to turn it into something good. And um, that is, we can take this this bad situation and offer it. And that man, as we know, uh, that man was God. That man was God who became man, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who taught us, if you want, if you want to come after me, if you want to follow me, you have to 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 deny yourself, to take up your cross, and to follow me. And this is the same uh, lesson of uh, of Our Lady of Fatima and the children of Fatima. Uh, they took their sufferings and they offered it to God as small sacrifices to, to save sinners, to help sinners, to, to make up for sin. And uh, one beautiful uh, way of the cross, um, the text of the way of the cross says, the, the, the judge of the world stood in front of the, the judgment of men and he was... He was betrayed by his own people. He was uh, abandoned by his own apostles. He was uh, uh, he was terribly whipped and scourged and crowned with thorns. But our Lord Jesus Christ uh, remained silent. He remained silent, and he took the the unjust uh, decision, this unjust sentence of, of Pontius Pilate. In the, the the Jews and in in even our sins we shout, um, crucify him, crucify him, um, but our Lord Jesus Christ he agreed, he 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 accepted uh, to die, to go to, on the way of the cross for our sins to save the world, and that is the different. A way to accept all of these contradictions in 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 conf confusing uh, elements in our life today 
It's not to react naturally, but to try to react supernaturally, like our Lord in the Passion, and like the children of Fatima uh, teach us, how to turn these bad things into something good, and to offer them as sacrifices to our Lord. That's the supernatural, that's a Catholic spirit, that's traditional Catholic spirit. Um, not to, not to, not to, to follow nature and, and fall in nature's reactions, but to go above that with a supernatural response, a spiritual response. As the, the, the scriptures say, he was led like a lamb to the butcher. And as a, as, as a, he was, he was silent on the way. Again, I'm, 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 uh, paraphrasing the scripture. He was led as a silent lamb to the slaughter, and that's as silently he was led to his passion. He did not, and St. Saint, Saint Peter, the first pope, t writes in his, uh, in his epistle, um, he was uh, mocked and calumniated, but he did not uh, defend himself. He suffered, but he did not complain. And, well, that's the supernatural spirit, and that's, today is the, the Sunday, the, the Passion Sunday. And that's the lesson for us today. We begin to start to think about the passion of our Lord Jesus Christ. That we, we, we have to use these next two weeks before Christmas uh, intelligently and rationally and uh, to prepare our souls for, 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 for Christmas. And this time with, of all these difficulties and sufferings, it actually, by divine providence, gives us an excellent opportunity to enter into this spirit of the liturgy, of the time of the Passion, when we have so many contradictions in our lives. So, you know, on Passion Sunday, all the crosses and all the statues are covered with, uh, with, with purple, with violet uh, uh, coverings. And we, we try to, the church tries to veil everything in the church, cover everything, so that our minds are only focused on the Passion of our Lord Jesus Christ. And so, uh, you in your homes, you should do this also with with your family as much as possible. Um, uh, maybe you don't have to cover everything with purple with purple uh, coverings, but in in a spiritual way to block out as many distractions as possible and to sit down with your family and pray the rosary together. Open up a book on the Passion of Christ. Read it together. Do some 10-minute or 15-minute silent meditations on the Passion. Um, enter into the Spirit. You know, the, the, the Passion of our Lord Jesus Christ, it is a school. It is a, it's the greatest book uh, ever written. And For example, we have this beautiful example in history where, you know, there's the great Saint uh, Bonaventure and Saint Thomas Aquinas, who were two of the greatest theologians in the Church. And one day, St. Thomas Aquinas uh, visited St. Saint, Saint Bonaventure and said, um, you know, I've read your writings, and it's absolutely beautiful. I've read, it's, you're, you're, you, you, have, you have a, lot, a, lot, of, a lot of things to teach and a lot of things to say. And tell me, what, what book, what books are you using to, 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 to write such, 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 in such a beautiful way? And St. Bonaventure said, that um, he, he was a, a Franciscan, a, a, a humble Franciscan, and looked to his cross in his bedroom and said, uh, here, is, here is my book. Here is, is the book that I study every day. This is where I have learned everything. The, the little that I know, this is where I, I have learned it from. From the cross, it is an, a, a, an, an inexhaustible mystery of, of lessons for us. And God has turned such a terrible thing, of crucifixion and, and, and suffering, into such a, a supernatural lesson, so many lessons for us. It's a, it's a, it's a school for us about uh, redemption, about justice, about uh, uh, God's love for us. We see God's love when we look at that. We see uh, the consequences of sin. It teaches us about the consequences of sin. It teaches us it's a, it's a school about how to, to, to practice all the virtues. It teaches us how to turn, turn bad into good. It teaches us how to forgive our neighbor. It teaches us um, self-sacrifice, uh, 
uh, it, it teaches us self-denial. So many teachings. It's 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 absolutely inexhaustible. So, but it's only an, ex in, an inexhaustible source of knowledge if we take the time and stop in silence and sit down before it, kneel down and think about it. Get a good book um, about the passion and do some meditation, some readings, uh, and then you can enter into it. So block out as much as possible, like the church does. Veil, if, you, if necessary, your computer in, in, a, in, a, in a purple veil in your telephone and, 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 and take a good book and sit down and, and, and read about the Passion during, this, 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 during these next two weeks. During the time of the consecration and the traditional mass, the, the words of consecration are, are uh, it, it, the priest repeats perfectly what our Lord said at the Last Supper. And he says, when he takes the, the host into his hand, he says, take this and eat it, all of you. This is my body. And he takes the chalice and he says, take this and drink it. This For this is the, the, the chalice of my blood of the new and everlasting covenant, the mystery of faith, which will be shed for you and for many unto the remission of sins. And so he says, the mystery of faith, this chalice of Christ's blood is the mystery of faith. Now, uh, the mystery, this, this, this statement, mystery of faith, it has many uh, interpretations by the church, but, but uh, most of the church fathers and St. Thomas teach this mystery of the faith means it's the central mystery of our Catholic faith, so the passion. And Archbishop Lefebvre always talked about it's that's why the Mass is the center of our lives. It is the passion, the, the, the sacrifice of our Lord. It's the central mystery, the, the mystery of faith, the cross and, the, the, and the, the chalice of this blood. And Jesus says, take it, drink it, unite yourself with it, receive the Holy Communion and receive my body and blood, receive the sacrifice, unite yourself to it, that you can be... Uh, filled with this with this divine grace to change your life to look at the situations bad situations in a supernatural way and react to them in a supernatural way so if you can't receive a holy communion uh, you should participate in, in a mass some way through through live streaming or something and receive and and make a spiritual communion and, and god will give you as many graces if if not even more graces than you would receive in a normal way because he knows the situation and especially if you if you accept it in a in a supernatural spirit. So let's use these times. Let's pray to Our Lady of Sorrows and Our Lady of Fatima, who 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 is so close to us during this time, who will not leave us, who is uh, the 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 Mater Misericordiae, the Mother of Mercy, and our in 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 who stood by the cross and who stands by us during our times of our 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 sufferings and our passion and our cross let's let's go to her let's pray and let's be faithful in 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 study this book of the passion during the next two weeks amen god bless you all